What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 26 RC or release candidate to developers and to public beta testers. Now along with this update, we also got the RC version for iPadOS 26, watchOS 26, macOS 26, tvOS and HomePod version 26 along with visionOS 26 RC. But of course in this video we are talking all about iOS 26 RC and everything new in the update. Now of course this did come right after the iPhone 17 event. So if you were in the live stream, shout out to the live stream squad. I appreciate you guys for being in there. But anyways, let's take a look at the size and kind of what's new here in iOS 26 RC because there are a few changes. So first off, you can see the size came in at 8.39 gigabytes on my 16 Pro Max. Of course, that is in line with the previous betas. They have been pretty large lately. So let's go and check out the build number for this final build. So settings general about the new build is 23A340. And this is very likely going to be the build for the final release when it comes out next week. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. And if we go down to the modem firmware, that's 2.04.06 on the 16 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 26 RC? Now, of course, the RC build is most likely the final release for beta testers. So it is going to include the release notes for everything new in iOS 26. So I did do a screen recording here of all the new features included in the updates. But of course, I will be showing you guys every single new feature in my official what's new video for iOS 26. That's the long video I do every year. So I'm not gonna cover every single feature in this video. I'm just going to cover some of the new features that were just added with the RC release. So we're going to start by going into the health application because there's a big one in here because with iOS 26, we now have a new sleep score. So if you have an Apple watch and you wear your Apple watch to sleep like I do, we now finally have a sleep score in the health application. This is not just for the Apple watch series 11. Apple did announce it today alongside the new Apple watch but it does also work on older Apple Watches as well. So you can see it shows up right here. This is at the very top of my summary. It does show the sleep score. It gives you a score right there. So I got an 83 out of 100, and then it shows you how it breaks it down, the duration, the bedtime, the interruptions, and it gives you a little summary of why you got that score as well. And if you tap into there, it will show you that in its own separate section, along with about sleep score. And if we go to show in charts, it will show you your scores uh, you know, over the past week, month, and six months. So it does automatically, you know, calculate the scores for your existing sleep data, which is awesome. So you don't have to start it new. You can go back and see, you know, how your scores have been. So you can see I've been lacking lately over the past six months, but you can see my scores and also down here under levels, it will show, you know, what your levels have been. So two weeks of excellence, 22 weeks of high, two weeks of okay, and you can see low and very low don't show anything. And then we also have elements right here. So it will show your kind of average score for duration at bedtime and interruptions. So I've been wanting a sleep score for a very long time for the Apple Watch when it comes to sleep tracking. So I'm glad to see that has finally been added. But that's not the only health feature that we have in iOS 26 because we also have hypertension alerts. So this is also announced alongside the Apple Watch Series 11. And basically what this is, is it says hypertension is a condition that can cause damage to your heart, blood vessels, and other organs. Apple Watch can check your heart data and notify you when it detects a pattern that could indicate hypertension. So basically it's checking for signs of chronic high blood pressure and it will use the optical heart sensor to analyze your blood vessel responses. So this is actually available for the Apple Watch Series 9 and later and it is you know, pending FDA clearance, but that is expected soon. But you can see that right now inside of the health application. And while we're on the topic of the Apple Watch, we also have the new Apple Watch Series 11 watch faces. So if you go into the watch application and go down to the face gallery and then go to new watch faces, you can see I have beta nine on the left, RC on the right. We now have the flow and the exactograph watch faces. So those are the new ones that you can see them in here and you can add them to your Apple watch. So you just have different colors of flow right here and then also different variations of the exactograph 
watch face. We have a new splash screen for the fitness application. So it shows you what's new in fitness, workouts on iPhone, music and media, and fitness plus. And then also when you go to the workouts tab, we have a new splash screen here as well, because it shows you that you could set up and mirror your workouts, workout buddy, and music and media. And actually when you go into workout, you will notice that we have a brand new design here. So if we go into fitness on my older device, you can see that we did not even have a workout tab at the bottom at all. So now with iOS 26 RC, we have a brand new workout tab and it says to track other workout types, connect to Apple watch AirPods with heart rate detection or a device with a heart rate sensor. You can X out of that and you could see your different workouts right here. So if I go ahead, you know, you have workout buddy right there as well. So you could tap on that to change the voice for workout buddy. You have the timer right here as well for a quick start, your distance, your time, all of that. And then you also have your music right here as well. If you want to auto play media. So all those are separate controls and you could also just tap on the play to start the workouts. And you can see it has a workout screen very similar to the Apple watch, but now it's big and it's on the iPhone. And once you actually start the workout, you could swipe this up right here. You can in workout mute the uh, fitness buddy, the workout buddy, you have check-in lock controls, and you also can tap right here to see your rings. And you have all these other options here as well, like HRM heart rate monitors, and you could set your different, you know, toggles right here. It's pretty, pretty much just like the Apple watch, but it's now for the iPhone, which is pretty neat. And you do also have live activities. As you can see right here, it will show that live activity up there for your workouts. Now, something else new in iOS 26 RC that I really did not expect is if you press and hold on the home screen and then go to edit and then to customize and you go to tinted, we have two brand new options over here to the left. So what these are is it allows you to choose the color of either a compatible MagSafe case that you're using or the color of your iPhone and it will match that. So right here, you can see if we press on that, it will match the color of your phone. And if you press on this one right here that shows a case, it will match the color of the case that you have attached. Of course, it does need to be an Apple case so it can detect the case color and everything, but you can now do that with iOS 26 RC. So it seems like Apple is really going all out with the accessories and really adding software features to it as well. So this makes it really cool and kind of easy to match the color of your device. You can see right there, it works right now. Currently, you can see I have a uh, gold right here for the 16 Pro Max. And when I press on that, it makes it kind of a gold color here for the tinted. And it could also change that to be light or dark for that as well. So those are two brand new options there for customizing. I'm really curious to see how this will work for the cases. Obviously I don't have a case right now for that, but it does work for non, you know, iPhone 17 devices as well, which is good to see. And you could change the opacity and everything right there as well. Now, also one thing that we did learn from the event is that the live translation feature for the AirPods is actually going to be coming with iOS 26 and with an AirPods update. And it's not exclusive to the AirPods Pro 3. It does also work for AirPods Pro 2 and the AirPods 4. So you do have to update your AirPods. Mine are not showing up right now, but at least it's good to know that we are going to have live translation for older AirPods, not just the new AirPods Pro 3. And speaking of the AirPods Pro 3, we also can see in the code here from Aaron P613 what the AirPods Pro 3 setup process looks like. So when you get the AirPods Pro 3, this is what will show up on your device as kind of a getting started guide to show you, you know, how to set them up and everything new with the AirPods. We can also see in the code that Apple added support for the Power Beats Fit. Those are the upcoming Beats headphones. And there's also an interesting 3D model of the iPhone Air that is found in the RC build of iOS 26 down there in the code. And again, that's why I always say that with the RC builds, we will always see new features and something new that's changed because Apple waits until the event before they put some of these you know, changes in the code and some of these visual features uh, in the software as well. Now, as far as the release notes go for iOS 26 RC, unfortunately, there's not a lot of bug fixes or really much changed at all. When I do the comparison to the beta nine release notes, it's pretty much identical. There's a few small changes, but nothing noteworthy at all. So don't expect any type of major bug fixes with the RC build. Like I've mentioned in the past, we're most likely not going to see those, you know, major bug fixes until like the 26.1 updates, maybe a 26.0.1, something like that is when we'll see more changes to, you know, some of those bugs that are still existing. Now, as far as performance goes, performance feels fine. It doesn't really feel too much better or worse than beta nine. I've not really been able to tell a difference 
points from the short amount of time I've been using it. I did run a Geekbench test here and I scored 3483 single core, 8657 on the multi core. You can see how that compares. It is a bit higher than beta 9, which is a good sign, but that is also expected for an RC build. But as far as actually using the software and going in and out of applications and everything, feels about the same. So don't expect a big jump there. And also, as far as battery life goes, I would actually expect battery life to increase a little bit just because we're not going to have as much logging going on in the background and everything like that. So I would expect a potential minor bump to battery life. Don't expect anything drastic, of course, until like 26.1, 26.2. It's still not going to be as good as iOS 18 anytime soon. But, you know, battery life hopefully it will improve with this RC build, aka the final version of 26. Now, as far as when to expect iOS 26, the final public release, Apple actually came out and announced that it will be coming on Monday, September 15th, just as we've expected for the past month or so here on the channel. So Apple has confirmed that 9.15 is when we will see iOS 26 release to everybody. And there's going to be a lot of confused people when they see 26 instead of iOS 19. So yes, that's when it's going to release. And then we should see iOS 26.1 beta one that same week, potentially the very next day on Tuesday, the 16th. But of course, we'll have to wait and see on that. But anyways, guys, I just want to give you a quick update on iOS 26 RC. There are a few new features added, a few changes added, but nothing really too crazy. As far as liquid glass goes, since I know some people will still be wondering and asking, it is the exact same. Notifications are the exact same. Everything is pretty much exactly the same as it was on beta nine when it comes to visuals and when it comes to the overall UI and design of the software. So nonetheless, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, shout out to the live stream squad. That was such a fun live stream stream. It's still up on the channel right now. If you want to watch that, it's just kind of an archive of the reaction to the iPhone 17 event. But anyways, stay tuned. A lot more videos, of course, on iOS 26 and iPhone 17 coming very soon. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.